During the Buddha's time, monks often gathered to discuss current events. One day, they were discussing the evil actions of the elder Tewata. They said, Sir, the monk known as Tewata is harsh, cruel, and wicked. His actions are only for selfish gain, and he does not think about who was hurt as a result. The Buddha then said, Brothers, Tewatat has also been cruel and wicked in past lives. And upon their request to make the past known to those who could not see it, the Buddha told this story. A long time ago, when Brahmadatta was reigning in Banaras, the Bodhisattva was born as a great elephant and was the leader of a herd of 80,000 elephants, all of whom lived in the Himalayas. At that time, a quail had laid her eggs in the feeding grounds of the elephants. Being a quail, she typically made her nest on the ground instead of in trees. When the time came, the young birds burst out of their shells. Their wings had not yet developed, and they were still unable to fly. At that same time, the herd of elephants began to travel in the direction of the quail's nest. The ground shook with the weight of their feet. The mother quail felt the ground shaking and became frantic and desperate. She knew her babies were unable to fly and that she could not carry them to safety. As a mother quail flew, she was easily able to spot the Podisat and flew to a nearby branch to get his attention. She then said, Great Lord, magnificent being, splendid creature among all creatures. I am but a puny bird, while you are a leader of thousands. With my wings, I pay homage to you and beg you to please spare my little ones. The kind elephant king went over to the quail's nest and stood over it. He used his body as a barrier to prevent his elephants from stepping on it. The elephant king withstood the pushing and bumping of his elephants in order to protect the quail's nest. The quail mother was overcome with gratitude and heaped praises upon the elephant chief. The great elephant then gave a warning to the mother quail. He said, There's a solitary rogue elephant who refuses to follow the herd. He will not listen to our commands, nor do what is best for the herd. When he comes this way, try to persuade him to spare your offspring. When the rogue elephant came close, the mother quail flew to the branch and said, O oh, great and mighty elephant, traveling alone in this wide forest, with my wings I pay homage to you. I am but a tiny and weak creature compared to you. May you take mercy upon me and my offspring and spare their lives as you walk by. You are a pitifully small and weak creature, yet you dare to ask me, a mighty elephant, for a favor? What do you have to offer me? You are insignificant compared to me. I will crush your babies with ease. What can you do to stop me? Mighty elephant, I beg you with all my being, please reconsider. A mother loves her babies and losing them is like losing a piece of my heart. Please, have mercy. The heartless elephant cared not for her entreaties and mercilessly stepped on the baby quails. The mother quail rushed to her babies only to see their crushed bodies. The rogue elephant continued on his way without even a second glance or consideration for the pain he caused. The mother quail's heart was filled with sadness. She said, 
My babies. My babies. You didn't even get to experience life. Your life was cut short through no fault of your own. I failed you. I was not able to protect you. I am sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> However, anger and hatred soon filled her heart, and she said, You were born larger and more powerful, and I was born smaller and weaker. You abused your size and power and killed my helpless babies. I will not, I cannot forgive you. Your evil must be punished. I will not wait for karma to run its course. I will act as karma's agent. The mother quail gathered nuts, fruits, and berries and made an offering to a crow. She patiently waited while the crow ate it. The crow then said, Quail, why did you bring me this food? What is it you want from me? The mother quail then bowed low and said, Master crow, I ask nothing from you now, but in the near future, I require a favor, a service from you. I would have you peck out the eyes of an evil elephant that has done great harm to me. He purposely killed my babies. The crow then responded, That elephant's action is truly evil. I also hate it when the strong abuse the weak. I will help you when the time comes. The quail then brought an offering to the flies. After they ate it, they asked the quail, We thank you for your gift. What is it we can do for you? The quail then bowed to them and said, All I ask is that when the eyes of the evil elephant that purposely killed my babies have been pecked out, I ask that you lay eggs in his eyes. The flies said, what that elephant did is truly evil. We hate it when the larger abuse the smaller. We will help you. The quail then brought the frog some gifts. The frog then asked, Quail, you brought me delicious food. What do you need from me in return? Once the evil elephant who killed my babies is blinded by the crow, and the flies lay their eggs in his eyes. I need you to stand near a cliff and croak loudly. Mm, I hate it when those in power care not for the harm they cause those without. I will help you. And so, the crow found the evil elephant and viciously pecked out his eyes as a favor to the quail. The rogue loner elephant, now blind, began moving around aimlessly and in pain. The flies then swarmed the evil elephant's eyes and laid their eggs as the quail had requested. The eggs caused the elephant's eyes to itch and caused him much irritation. Then, as the blinded elephant rushed about crashing into trees, the frog saw his opportunity. He began to croak loudly many times. The evil elephant felt hope surge into his heart. He figured that if he heard a frog croak, then he must be near water. The elephant poured his energy into crashing his way towards the sound of the frog's croaks. The blind elephant charged right off the cliff's edge and fell all the way to the bottom and died. The 
quail who had orchestrated and watched the whole event unfold flew down to check on the corpse of the evil elephant who heartlessly killed her babies. The mother quail felt a surge of satisfaction at the death of her sworn enemy. She said, I've finally gotten my revenge. After that, she stepped on his body a few times out of hatred and flew away. Eventually she passed away and was reborn according to her karmic actions. The Buddha then concluded the Chataka by saying, The evil heartless elephant who did not consider the pain and suffering his actions caused others was later reborn as Tewatat. The leader of the herd of elephants who protected the baby quails was none other than myself. What did you learn from this story? We hope you enjoyed the video. Click like if you did, and click subscribe if you want to see our uploads.